Hello every, again, everybody. Uh, addressing some of the comments and the questions of what's a short to power, what's a short to ground, and other comments about how power locks work, how power windows work. Well, this video is going to be consisting of short to power, short to ground, and understanding short circuits. The most basic of basic diagrams in any form of, of electrical or electronics for that matter. We have to start from the beginning to answer that question. First of all, a car battery of 12 volts. Always the red is the positive. This is the conductor. This is a, a, a wire, a conductor, where electrons can flow from a battery source, which is a pressure, to force electrons to work to do something. In this case, what is it doing? It's lighting a light bulb. This could be a fuel pump. This could be your starter motor. It could be, uh, 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 again, a motor for power windows, for the seats, anything. A connection from here to here. Now, we have to close the connection back to where we started. Electrons cannot flow over here and stop here. It has to have a complete path. So if it started over here, it has to go back to where it originated from. So we start over here, lights the bulb, right? This could be a brake bulb or a headlamp bulb, anything, parking uh, lamp bulb, and it comes back over here, okay? No problem with this one so far, right? So this has some resistance and in, the form of six ohms this is ohm symbol so 12 volts over six ohms will be two amps so two amps is flowing here into the bulb comes out the bulb as two amps and it goes back to the negative terminal fine no problem okay now let's say we have short circuits okay instead of this remember we're going to take this and we're going to put a, something called the resistor Okay, and you're going to see the diagram here from the textbook that I'm using, Automotive Technology. <clears throat> now, here's the resistor. So we opened up the conductor, and we said, let's put a low-value resistor of 2 ohms. Okay, we're still going to make this light bulb light, but it's going to be with less current. Now... Current is going to flow, same way, same path, here, <clears throat> here, go in here, come out here, go into this bulb or a motor, whatever it is, come out here, and go back where? To the battery. Right back to the battery through what? Through these wires, through these conductors. So here's the flow, the conventional current we're talking about. Here here, 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 and here. So this current has done its job. It's going to activate a motor, a fuel pump. It's going to activate a bulb or an actuator or anything for that purpose. Great. Now comes a short to power. What does it mean, short to power? Okay. Short to power means like a short circuit to power, where let's say this side of it, instead of going to the resistor, this side of it will go directly to the power, the plus side. So we take a short circuit, and what did we do? This current went, instead of here, it's going to go over here, into this bulb or motor, and then come out here, like the original one that we had, a short to power. It's like a short circuit back to the power. What's a short to ground? So we're going to call this short to power, but A. What's a short to ground? A short to ground means any point that's touching ground. So let's say this resistor over here. We're going to take a wire. We're going to call it B. And it's going to touch ground. So what are we doing? We're going to take this out of the equation. We're going to call this wire B. So now that current is going here to the resistor. Not through here. This is a short circuit. Short to ground. 
and it's going to go here and flow here and back to this. So the only thing in that in, in B is the 2 ohm resistor. That's it. That's a short to ground. In the short to power, the current can flow here, here, here. Also, it can divide also over here, but the main current will go through this. Now, short to ground, I just told you, means any point touching ground through a wire. Okay? Can I have a short to ground from here? From here to here. A B plus ground. A short. If I have a, a ground, a short to ground across the battery, what am I doing? I'm shorting the battery. When would that happen? Well, let's say when, let's say when the two cables touch each other. That's when I can have a short to ground. Can I have a short to ground from here? This is a short, this is connected to ground anyway. So let's say this conductor, this wire broke. And guess what? In the process when it broke, it's touching ground. But wasn't it touching ground in the first place? So it's going to have the same effect. A short to ground here is the same effect as the original circuit wiring. However, a short to ground here will, not, will have a different effect. The current always takes the path of least amount of resistance. The current comes over here. The flow of electrons come here and it says, I have a path to take here and I have a path to take to back to ground. Well, since this is a short to ground, I like this path better. Why? Because it has less resistance, zero ohms resistance. This has six ohms resistance. This has zero ohms. I'll take this one. I'm not stupid. I'll take this one. Okay? That's what short to ground. Short to ground can mean anywhere in any point where this point here is connected to ground, this point here is connected to ground, this point here can be connected to ground. That is a dead short if there's no resistor. Let's look at another one <clears throat> so we understand what the automotive wise we're talking about. <clears throat> okay this is the car battery that I used one time but to illustrate the point okay for the battery positive this is the, a pictorial sometimes I think pictorials are better than schematics that's why I'm referring more to pictorials from terminal A as I called it we have current flowing through a fuse okay we could call this F1 it comes out from the fuse. For example, let's talk measurements, 2 amps. From the voltage of 12 volts or 14 volts, if the alternator is connected to it, we have current flowing. You see the arrows? And this is where I, I learned to draw in my schematics arrows from the textbook because it helped me, and I decided... I think the viewers, for beginners especially, it would help to give arrows and to label parts. So here we are. We go over here. We come through one side of the fuse. We come out the other side, two amps. We go in one side of the switch. We come out the other side of the switch, terminal D. We go to our load. In this case, this is a symbol for, again, a bulb. This is the filament inside, which glows. Come out of the load... Okay, we go back to the negative of the battery. Problem is, how do we get from all the way, let's say this is the reverse light, or let's say this is the, the, uh, the backup lights. How, does, how do we connect uh, a ground? We just said, I just spent eight minutes telling you a fact that once we leave the positive, we have to have another path going back to the negative to make a complete path. How do we find that complete path? If we're all the way by the trunk or by the rear of the vehicle, how do we find a complete path for us to go back to the battery? Well, there's metal all around the car, right? Right? Metal is a conductor, as you see over here. So we can use a part of the metal this bulb will go back here of course this is metal metal frame it is a ground back to the ground to another wire from the ground over here so what did this do this gave us a, a complete path but also it shortened the wire that we needed 
Okay? That means less wiring. Less wiring in a vehicle means less weight. Less weight means better fuel economy. Okay? So here, 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 as you see here, here, here. Okay? And they tell you, even like engine block, transmission case, anything can be used for a ground, as I have been specifying. Okay? Now, short the ground. Okay? This is the hard part. I'm going to put a short the ground. You decide what's going to happen in the circuit. This is your, let's say, one of your brake lights or one of your reverse lights, okay? A short to ground. What did I just define a short to ground being? Any point connected to ground in the circuit. I'm going to put a short here from terminal E to where? Here's my short to ground. It's just a wire. Will this change the circuit? No. Why? Because this is shorted to ground anyway. It's connected to ground anyway. If I take a wire and put it from here to here, I'm not gonna not gonna change anything. It's still a short to ground. If this if this breaks, right? If this breaks, correct? This broke on us. This wire that was attached here to this frame broke. But you know what? In the process of it breaking, it touched this part of the metal frame instead of this part. As long as there's no rust or corrosion, which is higher resistance, guess what? So this wire moved from this spot to what spot? To this spot. Is it a shorter ground? It's a shorter ground, yes, but it completed the path. No, no major damage done. Okay? That was a little tricky question there. Let's put a short circuit here. Short circuit by the dotted lines. Going to here. Okay? What's going to happen? This, this one over here, the current comes out of the switch. It comes to this point and says, I want to make this brake light go on for the driver. However, what does he see? He says, oh, look at this. I have a path to ground back to the metal frame. I like that path better. Why? This might be 6 ohms, 7 ohms, 8, whatever. This is 0 ohms. 0 ohms means great. No resistance. The current says, I like that path. He's going to take this path. That's a short to ground. What will happen to this? It will never light. Why? Because the current is flowing this way. What will happen to the fuse when you have a short to ground? You better hope that that fuse blows and the wires do not get damaged because you will be pulling an infinite amount of current as much as the battery can withstand or the fuse will react and protect you and open okay so we put a few we put a short to here let's put a short instead of after the switch before the switch terminal what c Oh boy, now we have a short to ground here. Okay? Now what happens? Same thing, same scenario. The current comes here into B, comes out of C. And it says, okay, should I go to the switch to the bulb or should I go here? What's the rule again? The current wants the path of less amount of current, of, of resistance. This is zero ohms. Current says, I like this one. So what's going to happen? Same scenario. Fuse is going to blow and hopefully protect your circuit. Okay? One more. Last one. Here's a short to ground. <clears throat> Here's a short to ground. From the negative battery to this, to this metal frame, I have a short to ground. I have a, a, a cable. The cable broke, and guess what? It's going to ground. What's going to happen? right nothing same thing current goes over here goes over here goes over here doesn't matter which path it has it'll go back over here it's the same short to ground as this short to ground as this short to ground this is a a ground this is a ground this is a ground there could be a thousand grounds it doesn't matter the current says as long as i have a path back to ground I'm happy. I can flow in a complete path. I can come back. 
I could come back here. I could come back here, wherever there's a ground for me. So that's that part. Now, we're going to go to another video to explain other things. Uh, please see my channel, Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto. And please subscribe. Thanks for watching.